let's just say he's a little bit OCD. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. Now, if you didn't already know, well based off the thumbnail, you know what's in this box and what we're doing today. Well, this is part one and in part one, we're gonna go through the painting process, a little bit about color matching. And then in part two, we're gonna see the actual install with John in the shop. Now, stay tuned for part two because we're drilling into an S2000 here. Now, this is not just any S2000. This S2000 belongs to one of our employees here. And uh, let's just say, He's a little bit OCD. We're talking about a guy that just bought this car. Uh, it's got, he's like the third owner, but the car is pristine. So we're talking about a guy that's got two car covers on the car in the garage. He's got three floor mats that he uses to wipe his feet before he gets into the car. This car, if you put a rag on it, it will slide right off. It's got like three layers of wax. This car is impeccable. I can't wait for you guys to see it. But for now, our job is to unbox this and see what's inside and talk to you a little bit about the painting process. Now, I always love old boxes. And now I gotta be very careful with this box because I've gotten specific directions to save the box and keep the box in as good as condition as I can. So we want to make sure Pierre does not get to this one. Oh, hey, there's the, come over here. You're on camera, come on over here. This is the guy I was just talking about. What's up, Jordan? How you doing? I was just telling everyone about, you know, about your OCD-ness and uh, your three mats before you get into the- uh, Fair enough. And your two car covers while it's still in the garage? Just one. For Just now. one for now, okay. Working on getting the other one. Okay, okay, well, misinformation. too much protection. <laughs> so um, I got careful instructions from you to save the box. So we're hiding it from Pierre. Save the box, not save the tape on the box. No, well, we're gonna try to save everything, you know. Now, let thanks me ask for, you. Thanks for your diligence. <laughs> it's always appreciated. I'm going to ask you a question. Now, these sure. particular um, parts, are they still in production or is it like seven years after the car? What year is the car? The car is a 2008. 2008. They, they still making this spoiler? They are spoiler. not making them anymore. There are very few still in stock at the Honda dealerships across the nation. We were fortunate enough to find genuine Honda part. Unfortunately, it's not real yellow pearl, but... Uh -huh. We know you're going to make it with yep. yellow pearls. So these parts come actually painted. They come painted. Paint. They don't come raw plastic. Okay. They don't come raw plastic, so we're going to have to... Uh, color match. We're going to change the color. We're going to refinish this one yep. from uh, silver to yellow. Okay. Oh, you got the trunk springs in here. Look at that. Good thing this isn't my job. <laughs> this is John's job. That's the benefit of uh, uh, genuine Honda accessories. Yeah. Yeah, I love this the way this is packaged and... We only need the spoiler, so we'll take the spoiler out. And, um, you know, we actually might use a couple of the nuts just to mount it or whatever it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to go unwrap it and go ahead and uh, start the prep. And uh, we already got the color, which I'm going to show everyone, and then we'll kind of go from there. All right, Jordan, you have a good day. See you later. <laughs> All right. We unbox this. Now, the reason why there's springs in here is because when you put um, a spoiler or anything on top of a car, you get to change the spring rate or, you know, these bars, you know, I'm not too familiar, but I know that it, it adds tension or, or lessens the tension so that the trunk doesn't pop way up when you hit the unlatch button. So we don't have to deal with those. So like Jordan was saying, these parts actually come, or accessories and they come color matched. So this one, I think it's only available in red. Now, this car is actually Rio, um, God, just had it. The actual color code is called Rio Yellow Pearl. And this is a tri-coat pearl for yellow. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about that. Okay, so we'll go ahead, we'll put this over here. And I always love to see and inspect the factory's paintwork because believe it or not, Nothing's perfect in this world. It's always good to catch and compare yourself to the robots and see if the robots had a good day that day. So, let's take a look. 
Check this out. Beautiful. Very simple. It's got all the um, foams here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up taping all this off because these foams are only one time use. I'll tape all this off so this will actually remain the color of the car but it's underneath so you'll never see. And uh, what we're gonna do with the process here is we're gonna go ahead and sand this down. I'm gonna use a uh, 600. Now since it's got a factory um, clear coat on it, I can just sand it down and put color right over it. I don't need to seal it. It's not a big part. Um, it's not going to be in the front of the car, so don't have to worry about chips. As long as I get a good, nice sand on it, then I can put my color right over it. Okay, so speaking about that color, you know, I've never sprayed this color before, but so I've uh, been very fascinated with it. I had to do my spray out cards and you should never enter any job without doing a proper spray out card. You know, why would you do all that work and then just hope that it's sprayed well or mixed well? So at any rate, uh, this white works similar to a white pearl. You have your base and then you have your pearl. So here what I did is I did two coats of pearl and on this one I did three coats of pearl. Now you're not gonna really be able to tell but I was able to tell using utilizing the sun gun which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. But I noticed that when you add pearl to it, and this specific pearl, it's like a green pearl, it gets greener and it takes the color away from that yellow. So I'm gonna go more with two coats of pearl because that's, that can change the color, it's transparent. That's what pearl is. And I'm gonna show you here, this on the right is two coats and this on the left is three coats. And you can see maybe the difference on camera, I'm not sure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get that sand it down, and then we're gonna go ahead and take it into the booth and uh, lay some paint. Okay, so what I did off camera is I went ahead and I taped the whole area. So now that's taped for prep and for paint. So uh, we're good to go in that department. And uh, if you watch my other video, which I'll show you uh, right up here, it's um, how to get clean jobs. And clean jobs all start within the prep. But before you even do that, you want to make sure that you clean it because this is the most important step right here. You know, this has got contaminants from whoever's handled it, whatever it might be. So we want to just go over it with some uh, wax and grease remover. And we're going to get off any of the um, oils or anything that may have come in contact with this actual part itself before it has gotten into my hands. Now, um, if we don't do this, then in turn, what all we're doing is we're sanding the contaminants right into the paint and it's going to make it that much harder to get out because now it's ingrained. Whereas the contaminants at this point, point are just sitting right on the surface. Now the whole point of using your wax and grease remover is to soak the panel like I'm doing and that brings all the contaminants to the surface. Then you take your cloth and you wipe in one direction you wipe them right off okay that's the theory behind it and uh, it seemed to have worked or is working very well for me it's actually a small fisheye in the factory finish I spot it you won't be able to see it on camera but it's um, God it's you're not even gonna be able to see it you just got to take my word for it but it's right around uh, right around here but that's besides the point, nothing's perfect in life, but we try to do the best we can. So now I'm gonna do use a 800 grit. I have my um, soft pad, but I don't want it to be that soft. John, you can come on over. So John, uh, come on over here. You are going to be doing um, part two of the, um, of the installation. How do you feel about that? Uh, you mean about drilling into a perfectly pristine trunk of one of the most particular people I know? I feel great about it. They feel great about it. Now, yeah. um, for that particular one, I remember there's holes in the trunk, there's a pre-punch, and then I just looked at it, there's these small circles that go on the bottom, they yeah. tape, and then you put the spoiler down and those circles stay right where they're and at. They mark the hole. And they mark the hole, so yeah. yeah. So I our Honda instructions for it. Yeah, we're so gonna. Do it. I'm gonna do part two with you. Yeah, and I'm gonna show the whole process because you're awesome at this stuff. Um, I don't know if I'd rather be painting it or drilling the holes. What do you think? Well, you can always repaint it if it goes wrong. <laughs> I'm not that good at welding, as you know. Right, right. But what if it doesn't come out good? Then you never even have to do your job. Yeah, that's right. Well, 
think about that one. So it's all in the eye of the beholder, buddy. Well, you know, so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sand it now with that 800. Inside and John's working on this beautiful blue NSX. It's actually NSX John's car, and um, I think we're working on some calibers here, so we're gonna check it out. Check out the quality of paint on this car. I'm gonna go around John and show them. This is a 90. Seven. Or no, 90. Hold on. Guys, look how flat this panel is. It's a 99, Hey, John, those look like some nice wheels. Are you going to put them on the car? Uh, we were. You were going to put them on the car. What, what happened, John? Um, well, it looks like someone got some of the measurements off, <laughs> and the front wheels don't quite fit. So he could put them on the back. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could ride around with two wheels in the back and two in the front. You know? So you're just doing some high temp... Um, it's a lacquer. God, it smells like lacquer in here, yeah. God, this car looks great. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. It's uh, fully paint corrected, ceramic coated. But this, it's a, it's, um, the paint is original. Yes. No one can paint like paint. this, not even me. I mean, it's not even paint, it's just the bodywork. It's completely flat. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna let you guys look. And this, uh, this is Monaco Blue Pearl. Okay. As opposed to Long Beach Blue Pearl, which is the other couple of that come around. Is it a, did these already? Nice. Yeah, just drying up. All right, well, thanks, John. No problem, Bobby. Catch up with you in a bit. That's right. All right. All right, so back in the booth, we have, uh, or the mixing room, we have two colors to mix up. We have the uh, base color, and then we have the uh, pearl, so. I got a lot of mixing to do, so uh, let's get to it and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so a lot of mixing. So what we have here is we have two colors. Just like a white pearl, you have your solid and then you have your pearl. This is a translucent color, okay? Meaning that the more coats you add, it will change the color. In this case, since it's a greenish yellowish pearl, it's gonna make it more greener, it's gonna make it more paler. This is a solid yellow, this is what comes first. Now, this might cover in about three or four coats in a normal system, but in ours, it's probably gonna cover in about two. It doesn't matter if it covers in one or two or three and four. 
you can spray base coat until the cows come home it's still gonna look the same at the end of the day same color if you keep putting multiple coats of this on the pearl it will change it so that's why you do your spray out card to find out the multi the, the amount of layers or pearl coats that you need which is very important so let's get this um spoiler in the booth let's get it ready to paint so the thing i really like about this camera or this microphone here i mean is um you know i can be anywhere and talk and i don't have to yell anymore you know the only person i gotta yell at now is my girlfriend sorry i didn't mean to say that <laughs> anyways um so I like to organize my paint in a way or whatever I'm using so I can get to all the edges. And right here, that's what I've got. So let's see, I wanna paint this so, hmm. I wanna paint this so the overspray goes towards the exhaust. Do I wanna reach over? Yes, okay? So I'm gonna have it right around here. So what you're gonna see me now use is an adhesion promoter, that's first. It's just uh, good insurance that your paint's gonna stick. We already know it is, but you know, it doesn't take but a minute to spray it. And then you're gonna see the white, the yellow pearl, solid, and then the pearl coat. So we're gonna take you through those stages right now. So you just saw me put the adhesion promoter. Now adhesion promoter is 1K, doesn't need a hardener, so it doesn't matter if it comes out of a can or if it, you can spray it, you know, for bigger areas, it's better to probably spray it to get a little bit more even. But uh, we used it right there. Now we're gonna use our uh, yellow, our base yellow. Uh, we're introducing the paint to the panel. So wet, but medium wet. So this is one of the most important things you can do. You get that uh, sun gun and we're gonna check for coverage. You know, sometimes you can't tell if it's actually covered until it comes out in the sun and you can see a light spot in the paint. So uh, I'm going over, this imitates the sun's rays. It is a very good gun put out by 3M. And I'm just going around and I'm checking all my areas, especially my edges where you know, paint can be uh, hard to get to. And it looks like I have absolutely beautiful coverage. Um, and when this is all done, you're not gonna see any uh, light spots. Light spots on this would actually look a little bit greenish. So uh, it's ready for pearl. So let's get pearl on this right now. Okay, so um, I'm going for my pearl now and I wanna match this color. 
And you know, when I was looking at this actual color, I realized that you know this um, pearl two coats is just on the edge of what I want to do. So I'm gonna do a coat and a half, and that last coat and a half is gonna be about 12 inches, like we always do for orientation. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of attack, barely. Okay, and I'm gonna do this in one sitting. This is super smooth because remember, we used our slow reducer. And with our slow reducer, we um, have effectively given, of our, given ourselves a nice smooth base finish. And the same thing with this pearl, coat in half, here we go. It's based, it's colored up. We're ready for clear coat right now. second coat of paint man it looks great my work here is done well if it matches if not it's just begun make sure you stay tuned for part two we're gonna take this into the shop John's gonna drill four holes one two three wow late night four holes into the uh, body of that trunk that's gonna be fun using all OEM instructions and uh, the tools needed. Guys, if you like the mic, let me know. I think it's uh, really capturing my voice pretty well. So uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends. We're all about the community here, all about learning. That's what it's all about. So let's check it out. This is Brian. Until next time, I'm reminding you, don't overthink it, just paint. Just check it out.